Today's topic of discussion is anticholinergic drug. Hey, I'm Dr. Shanaz Malik and you are watching Pharmacomania. The term anticholinergic means the drug having anti-muscarinic as well as anti-nicotinic effect. So anti-muscarinic drug block the muscarinic receptor of the parasympathetic system and anti-nicotinic drug that block N, N receptor are called ganglionic blocker. When it blocks sympathetic transmission at the uh, somatic neuromuscular junction are called neuromuscular blocking agent or neuro uh, muscular blocking drugs so, or skeletal muscle relaxant. So, anticholinergic drugs are competitive antagonists. They compete with the acetylcholine to bind with the specific um, cholinergic receptor and inhibit that uh, receptor to act uh, acetylcholine. So, block acetylcholine at the muscarinic receptor in the PSNS. A reversible block of the acetylcholine at the muscarinic receptor by competitively binding. If the concentration of the acetylcholine is increased, then that anticholinergic drug is um, released from that receptor and acetylcholine will bind. So this is the reversible block. And uh, once this drug binds to the receptor, they inhibit now transmission to the these receptors. And uh, now the classification of anticholinergic drug. It has various names like muscarinic, muscarinic antagonist, atropinic drugs, and parasympatholytic drug. These are the all synonyms for the anticholinergic drug. Now, it has various classification like natural alkaloid, semi-synthetic derivative, and synthetic compound. So, first of all, is the natural alkaloid is atropine and hyoscine. Scopolamine is the another name of the hyoscine. Atropine, hyoscine. Semi-synthetic derivative are atropine, methonitrate, atropine, methonitrate, homatropine, hyoscine butyl bromide, hyoscine butyl bromide, epratropium bromide, and diotropium bromide. These are the semi-synthetic derivative. Now, synthetic derivative are known as its uh, function or its use in clinical use of the drug like the mitriatic drug, cyclopentolate, and Tropicamide are used for the mitriasis in ophthalmic department. Cyclopentolate and tropicamide used for mitriasis. Uh, vesicoselective for bladder muscle relaxation. Oxybutynin, oxybutynin, flavoxet, flavoxet, toltyrodine, toltyrodine, derifenacin, and solifenacin. Derifenacin and solifenacin. These all are vesico selective drug. Now, drug use in the Parkinson patient because, because these all drugs are penetrating CNS, blood brain barrier, and reaching in the CNS and act for Parkinson patient like trihexyphenidyl, trihexyphenidyl or benzexone, trihexyphenidyl or benzexone. Procyclidine and biperidine. These all are for using for anti as a anti Parkinson drug. Now anti secretory or anti spasmodic drug are there are two group quaternary compound and tertiary compound. So in quaternary compound propenthylin, propenthylin, oxyphenonium, clidinium, isopropamide propamide and glycopyrrolate glycopyrrolate is very important because it is used clinically very much tertiary compound or tertiary amines are dicyclamine valentamide and pyrenzepine these all are tertiary amine which are used as anti secretory anti secretory or anti spasmodic drug atropine is prototype of anticholinergic drug and it was used to that uh, Italian red sign to dilate the pupil were considered as a sign of beauty. So it was still in the eye to dilate the pupil in history in Italian Renaissance. This is flower of Atropa belladona and name Atropa belladona Atropa derived from the Greek goddess Atropa belladona comes from Italian language meaning beautiful lady. Here are the various muscarinic receptor M1, M2 and M3. 
its location and function of this muscarinic receptor. M1 receptor is located at the neuronal ganglia, autonomic and enteric, gastric, pericrine, cell and CNS. And function of the M1 receptor is the gastric acid secretion, GI motility and CNS excitement. When M2 receptor are located at the heart, at SA node of the heart, AV node of the heart, atrium, ventricle, neural, presynaptic terminals. These are the location of the M2 receptor and function of the M2 receptors are SA node decrease rate of impulse generation and at AV node decrease velocity of conduction, decrease contractility and vagal bradycardia. These are the function of M2 receptor and now M3 receptor, exocrinal glands, smooth muscle and vascular endothelium are the M3 receptor are located at this glands. First is the exocrinal gland, smooth muscle, vascular endothelium. These are the location for M3 receptor. Now increase exocrinal secretion and smooth muscle contraction. Cardiovascular effect of anticholinergic drugs are decreased cardiovascular response to vagal stimuli resulting in tachycardia, usually stimulation of vagus nerve. So, bradycardia occur and this anticholinergic drug antagonize the vagal stimulation causes uh, tachycardia occur. On vasculature, no effect can seen but except dilate cutaneous vessel, red as beat, it causes redness and it shows like red as bit and block hypotensive effect of muscarinic antagonist. CNS section of atropine is uh, stimulant. These effects are not seen at low doses but uh, higher doses uh, at lower doses only peripheral effect is seen uh, because it restricted to uh, into the brain and hyacinth produces uh, central effect at the lower dose even and atropine stimulate vagal respiratory and vasomotor center and it depresses vestibular excitement and it uses anti-motion sickness property high doses causes cortical excitement restlessness disorientation hallucination and delirium followed by respiratory depression and coma can occur actions on various part of the body like uh, on eye dilatation of pupil called mitriasis it block muscarinic innervation on the circular muscle causes mitriasis occur and relax ciliary muscle causes cycloplasia it is paralysis of accommodation can occur and causes uh, photophobia and blurring of vision can occur due to cycloplasia worsening of glaucoma due to dilatation of pupil the intraocular pressure can be raised due to blockage of the drainage of drainage pathway of eye gastrointestinal is uh, relax smooth muscle of the gi tract decrease intestinal motility and gastric secretion decrease peristalsis antispasmodic effect uh, uh, can achieve and increase sphincter contraction so this is the pupil, this is sphincter pupillae and this is radial muscle. The sphincter pupil contain M3 receptor and uh, if the uh, anticholinergic drug is instilled then this muscle are blocked by anticholinergic drug. So paralysis of this muscle can occur and these radial muscle are contract. So dilatation of this is the passive dilatation of the pupil. Atropine is longer acting drug and accommodation and pupillary reflex may not fully recover for 7 to 12 days. Anger closure glaucoma in whom the pressure may occasionally rise dangerously. On respiratory system, atropine inhibits secretion of nose, mouth, pharynx, bronchi and thus dries the mucous membrane of the respiratory tract. Atropine causes bronchodilatation can occur but though it did but it is not used in the acute bronchial asthma atropine can inhibit bronchoconstriction caused by histamine bradykinin and eicosonide all vessel smooth muscle that are rusted parasympathetic motor innervation are relaxed by atropine 
by blocking M3 receptors. Atropin has relaxation action on the ureter as well as urinary bladder. Uh, urinary retention can occur in elderly male patient due to prostatic hypertrophy. So it is contraindicated in elderly patient. This relaxation action can be beneficial in increased bladder capacity and controlling detrusor hyperreflexia and neurogenic bladder. In gland, decreased salivary secretion in mouth, gastric secretion in peptic ulcer and decreased sweating, dry skin, fever in uh, infant and children can occur and decreased bronchial secretion. So it can be used in the COPD. Now what is the need of substitute of atropine? Atropine is non-specific in action, mydriasis, cycloplasia lasts for more than one week, photophobia, blurring vision, palpitation, dryness of mouth, difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in micturition and constipation. These all are undesirable effect. So we have specific drug for specific indication. So we'll can utilize that particular drug for particular indication. Quaternary ammonium compound are propenthalin, oxyphenonium, clydinium, climatropium, bromide, isopropamide, and glycopyrrolate. These all are incomplete oral absorption, poor penetration in brain and eye, Elimination is slower and longer acting, higher nicotinic blocking activity, postural hypotension, impotence. It is due to ganglionic block and NM block at the higher doses. Scopolamine or hyosin. It is natural compound. Its uh, uh, route of drug administration is transdermal, ocular, oral, subcutaneous and intravenous. This drug can be given and it is contraindicated in pregnancy, highly specific to M1 receptor. It is highly specific to M1 receptor and it is used for treatment in uh, nausea and motion sickness and for ophthalmic purpose also. Less often it used in pre-anesthetic agent and adjuvant to narcotic analgesic such analgesia such as the product we light slip which contain morphine and scopolamine to enhance the pain killing ability of various opioid substance. Scopolamine is available in transdermal page delivers 1 mg in 3 days. Incidence of drug adverse drug reaction is low by this route. The page formulation um, produces significant blood level uh, over 48 to 72 hours. Specific adverse drug reaction are strabismus and anisocoria. Semi-synthetic compound like hyosin vital bromide and atropin metronitrate. Hyosin vital bromide available in oral, intramuscular, subcutaneous as well as intravenous route. Less potent and longer acting than the atropin. Used for esophageal and gastrointestinal spastic condition. Atropin methonitrate is available in oral as well as intramuscular injection for abdominal colic and hyperacidity. Synthetic atropin substitutes are Antisecretory and antispasmodic are quaternary compound and tertiary amine. So, in quaternary compound, propenthalin, oxyphenonium, clinidium, cimetropium bromide, and isopropamide and glycopyrrolate. These are the quaternary compound, antisecretory and antispasmodic, antimuscarinic drugs. Tertiary amines are dicyclamine, valenthamide, and pyrenzepine. These are the tertiary amine anti-secretory and anti-spasmodic drug. Glycopyrrolate uses pre-anesthetic medication to reduce salivary, tracheobronchial and pharyngeal secretion. It also reduces acid, acidity of the gastric secretion. It prevents vagal bradycardia during anesthesia and laryngospasm and aspiration pneumonitis can be prevented by glycopyrrolate. Dicyclomine is direct uh, smooth muscle relaxant action in addition to uh, weak anticholinergic antispasmodic action. The use of dicyclomine is abdominal colic, dyspanoria, and irritable bowel syndrome. And is uh, also used as anti emetic, has been used in the morning sickness and motion sickness. 
an infant it is has been exhibited atropin toxicity symptom and it is not recommended in dicyclopine in pediatric patient below 6 month pyrenzepine is also you it can be used in peptic ulcer but its use is declined due to better h2 blockers are available in the market now respiratory use of anti muscarinic drugs Ipratropium bromide is non-selective muscarinic antagonist, shorter acting bronchodilator. It is administered by inhaler root for the treatment of obstructive lung disease, rhinorrhea, rhinitis, and combined with the salbutamol to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and in asthma. Tiotropium. It is recently leveled up container of the ipratropium bromide which bind very tightly with to the bronchial muscarinic M3 receptor producing long lasting bronchodilator. It is available in capsule and rotate the cap and inhaler twice a day. It is the rotahaler. This is rotahaler and it is available in capsule form and rotate this capsule into the inhaler. So it is called rotahaler. Now, vesicoselective drugs are specific selected to the bladder are oxybutynin, fluoxet, tolterodine, erifenacin, and solifenacin. Vesicoselective drugs are oxybutynin, which is M1 and the receptor selective antagonist and uh, specific for the urinary bladder and salivary gland. Additional smooth muscle relaxation action is there and local anesthetic properties also there. Because of vesicoselective vesico action, it is used for relieve the spasm after urological surgery, urologic surgery and relieve urinary incontinence, neurogenic bladder and nocturnal aneurysis. These are the condition where Oxybutynin can use. Levoxate has muscle relaxant property may be due to direct action on the smooth muscle rather than the antagonized muscarinic receptor. Uses of Levoxate are urinary bladder spasm, poor symptomatic relief in interstitial um, cystitis, dysuria, urgency, nocturnal, suprapubic pain. Tolterodine, derifenacin, and solifenacin are selective action on M3 receptor. Uh, less likely to cause tightness of mouth because it is specific uh, action on the bladder smooth muscle and uh, no other any side effect anticholinergic side effect it is used in overactive bladder with symptom of urgency frequency and incontinence tolterodine and solifenacin can cause uh, cyp3a4 inhibitor and dose required dose adjustment is required Now, ophthalmic use of the anti-muscarinic drugs. Atropin is potent mitriatic, but drawbacks are slow and long-lasting action is undesirable for refraction testing. The pupil is dilates in 30 to 40 minutes and cycloplasia takes 1 to 3 hours. And subject is visually handicapped for about a week. The better substitute are available in market and these are Homatropine, it takes 10 times, uh, it is 10 times less potent than atropine, but and still in eye, it takes 45 to 60 minutes. Mydiasis lasts for 1 to 3 days, while accommodation recovery is within 1 to 2 days. Cyclopentolate is another substitute for the atropine, it is potent and rapidly acting. Mitosis and cycloplasia occur in 30 to 60 minutes and lasts for about a day. It is preferred for cycloplasia, plagic refraction, especially in children. Uh, but children may slow transient behavior abnormalities can see due to absorption of the drug after passage into nasolacrimal duct. Next is the topicamide. It is the quickest 20 to 40 minute and briefest. 3 to 6 hour action. It is satisfactory for the refraction testing in adult and as short acting mitriatic for fundoscopy. So these are the mitriatic and cyclopagic action. So atropine 
atropine is mitosis lasts for a week photophobia spasm of accommodation cause of blurring of vision used in children who have very strong ciliary muscle tone used to break adhesion in the iritis and uveitis tropicamide and cyclopentolate are shorter duration of action used for refraction testing and visualization of retina cannot be used in children uh, but preferred in adult patient can resume activities like uh, driving in a day antimuscarinic drug for parkinson disease is when in parkinson disease imbalance between dopamine and cholinergic system when acetylcholine is increased in parkinson patient to inhibit this activity hyperactivity of acetylcholine uh, this is preferable to block this you know, parasympathetic activity and we can prescribe pencexol it is the point to m1 muscarinic receptor it uh, symptomatic treatment for parkinson patient post um, encephalitis and arteriosclerotic idiopathic form and treat extra pyramidal side effect occurring during the antipsychotic drug reduces the frequency and duration of oculopharynx crisis may improve psychotic depression and mental inertia by peridine centrally blocking m1 receptor adjunct treatment for the parkinson disease better effect in the post encephalitis idiopathic than in the arteriosclerotic type and geriatric patient may treat with confusional state or uh, develop delirium now therapeutic uses central nervous system disorder like parkinsonism benzodiazepine and trihexyphenidyl these both drug are penetrating contract brain barrier and act on cns they those who cannot take levodopa helpful in decrease salivation spasticity and tremor motion sickness uh, and scopolamine used in motion sickness drug induce extra pyramidal side effect this centrally acting drug can be used in for the cvs uh, atropine used increase heart rate in symptomatic bradycardia sinus node dysfunction symptomatic second degree heart block sinus or nodal bradycardia all this condition atropine can be given to raise the blood pressure uh, raise the blood pressure and respiratory system decrease secretion from the nose mouth pharynx bronchia relax smooth muscle of the bronchial uh, bronchioles and bronchi decrease airway resistance and bronchodilatation can occur respiratory agent used in this treatment exercise induce bronchospasm bronchospasm chronic bronchitis or asthma chronic copd uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease ipratropium bromide and diatropium bromide can be used in inhaler route in gastrointestinal tract blocked psns result in decrease secretion relaxation of smooth muscle decrease gi motility and peristaltis gastrointestinal agent are used to treat in peptic ulcer pyrenzepine and sp antispasmodic butyl scopolamine irritable bowel disease propenthaline and gi hyper uh, secretory state therapeutic use of anticholinergic uh, in uh, urological disorder like antispasmodic effects in, in overactive bladder and in urinary incontinence oxybutynin is the anticholinergic drug which is used in the urological disorder detrusor hyperreflexia and uresis increase bladder capacity and decrease bladder pressure these are the uses of the oxybutynin ophthalmic disorder like homotopin and tropicamide accurate measurement of refractive refractive error in uncooperative patient like child children or examination of retina like for the mitriasis side effect of anticholinergic drugs are cardiovascular system it increase heart rate and dysarrhythmia can occur and cns cns excitation restlessness irritability disorientation hallucination and delirium can occur in cns in eye dilatation of pupil decrease visual accommodation increase intraocular pressure 
glaucoma can precipitate GIT decrease salivation decrease gastric secretion decrease motility genitourinary system urinary retention can occur glandular system decrease sweating respiratory system decrease bronchial secretion now toxicity of anticholinergic drug anticholinergic drug overdose syndrome like belladonna poisoning consume seed of or berries of the belladonna or dhatura plant is characterized by hyperthermia delirium dry mouth tachycardia ileus urinary retention seizure coma and respiratory arrest may occur in this treatment and toxicity of anticholinergic drug or dhatura poisoning gastric lavage with tannic acid cold sponging or ice pack and physostigma and subcutaneously or iv can be iv tizabam for the control convulsions these are the various fruit and flower of the dhatura now anticholinergic side effect is the hot as a hair dry as bone blind as bat red as beet and mad as hatter these all are sign symptom of the tura poisoning or toxicity of the anticholinergic drug or atropine poisoning this is the dilatation of pupil thank you for watching the video